Hey guys, welcome back to TTZ. I am Tubsy, and welcome to a very special video. This is the Gulag Easter egg. For you, for you that don't know, Gulag is actually a mission on Modern Warfare 2 campaign. If you've not played the Modern Warfare 2 campaign, go play it. This first step, you need to go into the Mule Kick room. This isn't the, the opening of that door. Isn't the first step, but it's required for later on. This is the first step. Picking up this little book item. I don't know what it does, but that's the first step. Second step, you've got to go around the map and collect six tombstones. One is just down here past Pack-a-Punch, under those stairs there. Second, if you go up to Stamina Up, there's an open cell. Go into that room next to the toilet, tombstone on the floor. Third one is just behind Widow's Wine, in the only box without fire. It's in a corridor. You can see where it is on the map. The fourth one, PhD, on the table opposite PhD. That one's nice and easy. Away from speed collar this time, it's actually just underneath the uh, the meshing right here. A little bit difficult. Once you've seen it once, you'll see it again. And the final one is actually at the very top of the tower, under the shelving. This is by far the hardest to pick up. There you go. Lay down, you should get it. What you need to do with these tombstones is go to double tap. Behind, there is a little power icon on the wall, and you'll be prompted to place the graves. And now, you'll fight six Brutuses. Bruti? Brutuses? Anyway, as you kill them, you'll see red souls fly off into the distance. Pay attention to how many you see, because that's how many you need to collect for the next step. You can see it there? That's one of them. We'll come back to it. After you've killed these six, you'll be rewarded with a max ammo. There's the max ammo. Now we've got to go hunting for these souls. It can be anywhere from two to six souls. I've got locations for all six, but just bear in mind you can get any amount. So the first one I found was at double tap there. There's always seems to be one at speed caller. I've done this three or four times now, and every time there's been one next from speed caller. The one after is just in the MP5 room. It's a little bit of a bastard to see. It's actually underneath the floor, but you can see the glow. It kind of stands out once you know where it is. PhD one. That's the thousand pound door in Mule Kick. You've got to drop down and press F at the same time. And then my last one was in Electric Cherry. This opens up a hole in the floor. This is the end of the Easter egg. After you've placed the souls at Pack a Punch, all you've got to do down here is survive. I recommend taking as much firepower as possible. You get gifted max ammos and death machines, but it's just wave after Brutus, wave after wave of Brutus as Brutus I. There's a plural there that I'm not understanding. So I went down with the M1X and the. I was going to say the cervix pounder then, but it's the USAS packer punched. Yeah, that, that's it. Basically, all you got to do is survive. It's not too difficult. It does get a little kit crazy at some points, but as soon as that gate opens, you are a free man. I'm going to let you watch the end of the uh, the fight go through, so you can see what happens. It's just literally killing zombies. But, there's some epic music in the background. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you want to see more of these in the future, let me know in the comments, or hit me up with a tweet. If you get stuck on the Easter egg at any point, again, hit me up again. Until next time, take care.